gentlemen, uh, this bout is scheduled for three rounds in Khotia's welterweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, hailing from Egypt and flying the flags of the S&B Academy. Professional fight record of one win, two losses. Weighing in at 76.2 and standing at 1.76 meters high, it is Abdullah Muhammad. And in the red corner, also hailing from Egypt and flying the flags of the SGF Academy. Professional fight record of two wins, zero losses. Weighing in at 76.8 at standing at a tall 1.9 meters high. It is Ali, the one, Sharawi. And our referee for this match is none other than Captain Fahmi. Hello, gentlemen. Protect yourself all the time. Listen to me all the time. If you want, touch class and back your corner. Thank you. Here we go. This is Qadia. Time for round number one. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, with this welterweight clash between Ali Sharawi and Abdullah Muhammad. Bout number six. Bout number six, Ali Sharawi participated in the first edition of Odia coming off of a win, as well as Abdullah coming off of a win. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. How excited is the arena tonight? I mean, Heavy kicks, starting off from Abdullah. Abdullah trying to close the distance like he said he was going to do and take the fight to the ground. Ali control the connects with the first combination of the night. Oh, the flying knee didn't connect and he goes for the takedown. Abdullah, nice takedown as a counter. Ali got too excited with that flying knee. He didn't get anything out of it and he found himself on his back. Glimpses of what we saw in Abdullah Muhammad's last fight. Ali's moving his hips in a very nice way, trying to open up yeah. the guard. I need to sink a submission or something. This is exactly where Abdullah wants to be. On the ground in top position, but we'll see what Ali does from this position. Ali looks like he's going for the try, or at least he's controlling one arm. This is the fight that Abdullah wants. And yeah, a dangerous striker like Ali, you have to eliminate his striking by getting close and try to grapple with him. And Abdullah with the pressure on the ground, trying to pass Sharawi's guard, and he does that successfully. Abdullah is physically gifted, a strong guy with good wrestling, a deadly combination. I think now Ali needs to face Abdullah. And Ali, start. nice Ali reverse triangle. Reverse triangle. Ali sunk in a reverse triangle there. It's really creative by Ali. But it's not dangerous. He buys him some time. Abdullah finds himself out of it easily. Mouthpiece is out. Ali sweeps oh. him. Ooh! Abdullah stands up straight. Finds himself on the ground again. And Ali with the body lock. And guys, Ali's. Ali's strength is on another level, as we can see from here. He got up and he got the body lock, and now he's on top of Abdullah, making him feel every bit of his weight. He goes for the Kimura. However, Abdullah capitalizes on the situation and now ends up on top. This is a highly Abdullah. anticipated Abdullah fight. Abdullah trying to pass the guard here. He's trying to make some damage, trying to make some shots pay off for him. Great shoulder pressure for Abdullah. Ali's not doing that well on his back either and, way. So and I think Ali's, Ali, long, Ali's long limbs are paying him dividends. What do you think, Omar? I think that Ali uh, should find the way up right now because it's, it's not working for him. Abdullah just holding him down there. He's trying to kill time. He's trying to make him carry his body and wear him out. Ali keeps on trying to throw submissions off of his back, but I think it's better off if he tries to sweep the position again, get up. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with you, Omar. All of that to stop position in favor of the blue corner. 
Now we have Abdullah in side control, making more domination as the fight as the, as the fight clock keeps on ticking. Ali is now going for a leg. Ali should get get on his knees, get on his knees, get in the turtle position, and drive forward. Now oh, they neck. stand up. And Ali's up. That's what we want to see. Now Ali wants to capitalize here and not find himself on his back again. He doesn't want to find himself on his back again. Abdullah's fighting the fight that he wants. He's killing the fight. He's making him carry his body weight. And he's just gassing out all these limbs that he can use for striking. And Ali's going for the frame. But he can't frame Ali's face off of him. And now Ali's got double overhooks. Almost one minute left for round one. Pretty back and forth. Abdullah still with the pressure. But no significant oh, damage so far. The fight is going exactly where he wants it to be. Abdullah's finding all success with all the grappling exchanges. The crowd is going insane, guys. Abdullah's finding a lot of success with all these grappling exchanges. Very high level bout on display, ladies and gentlemen. 10 seconds left. And now Abdullah go going off with some shots on the ground. Non effective, though. And I think we're going to hear it, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that Ali wants to stay on the feet. He's not finding any success on the ground. And Abdullah's taking a fight exactly where he wants it to be. He's going to close distance. He's going to keep on coming. The guy is stacked. He's well built. And he, the way that he distributes his body weight down there is very effective. So yeah. Ali needs to stay, keep this fight on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you, Omar, and, and I'm getting a feeling that Ali's a bit too comfortable on the ground. He's, he's fighting off of his back. It's like he's not losing the round. That's the mistake that cost him. He went too excited with the flying knee. He didn't land and he found himself on his back. Yes. They went straight into the grappling. We didn't see that much in the striking department. I mean, Ali can get up. He can get up, but he, he needs to separate, you know. He has, a, uh, Abdullah has an overhook there. Nice balance on display from Abdullah Muhammad, the super soldier. This man loves war, and hence the nickname, the super soldier. That was the takedown from Abdullah, very well executed. I think that takedown at the end is what made the difference in the round. What do you think, Mezzi? Well, yeah, it certainly gave him an advantage for the judges' scorecards. And yeah, we'll see for the next round. round. We don't know what's going to happen. Two. He can't be thrown bad coaches, he can't be thrown bad kicks. He needs to hold center of the cage and he needs to start throwing his strikes effectively and efficiently. The crowd, guys. And the the crowd is insane. Yeah, and the super soldier is breathing a bit heavier than Ali. But both fighters look fresh overall. Touch of gloves as the second round starts. Now, Ali needs to start striking right away. He needs to keep him off of his back. Ali cannot be, cannot be on his back foot the same way that he is. That was a nice low kick from Abdullah. Ali needs to pressure, need, needs to throw his strikes to the landing. They're landing and he needs to keep him on his back foot. Another low kick from Abdullah. Abdullah comes back with a heavy low kick. <laughs> Ali's I'd, finding I'd success. like to see more jab cross. Yes, I like to see more long punches. They're all landing. Ali needs to be fighting off of his jab right now. He needs to be fighting behind his jab. I'd also like to see both fighters mixing up the body shots a bit because both of them are a bit of head hunting right now. Yes, exactly. Oh, Ali is good with the boxing and great timing by Abdullah to finish the takedown. Straight into the crucifix position. You can't stand there in front of a wrestler and just not have your guard up. This is the problem that Ali's gonna keep on facing. He steps in and he's not ready to defend the takedowns. And suddenly he finds himself on the back. He's having much more success on the strikes. And Abdullah's Ali, positioning on the ground. Ali's trying to recover his guard. He's already had, has Abdullah in half guard position. And no, no significant damage until now from both sides in the fight. 
but the takedowns are piling up for the blue corner's favor. Well, yeah, Abdullah is going for the game plan. And he's just hugging. I, I, don't, I don't think this is going to bring him any benefit right now. Abdullah's posturing up right now. And the fight is going exactly where he wants it to be going. Well, we need to see some action from Abdullah, Abdullah here. Wants and he's getting it. We need to see some ground and pound. We need to see some action. Or else the referee might stand both of these fighters up. He's going for an armbar. He's going for a try, but Abdullah is very wise with his defense. Ali's trying to attack some submissions off of his back, but still, I find that all success in this fight for Ali is to stand back on the feet, watch out for these takedowns, and have his guards very, very tight up because. He throws these strikes very vulnerably and then he's caught in a, in, in a takedown as simple as that. He needs to open up his guard and start looking for, he, yeah, for opportunities to, to get up. Guard and he needs to start moving. He's two rounds now. He's down two rounds. Yeah, he should open up his guard now. He should open up his guard. Watch out. Abdullah should start inflicting more damage from this position. The fight is low-key piling up in the blue corner side. Ali needs to start doing some damage, start getting back to his feet. Not much damage from the top from Abdullah, but certainly he's getting on the scorecards an advantage. Abdullah is not giving Ali any room or any chance to move at all. Ali needs to listen to his corner. They're giving him instructions on how to get up from this position. Abdullah, Ab Abdullah, Abdullah is playing the fight that, that is, is doing well for him. Ali has a closed guard that is, is actually interrupting his movement. Ali needs to open up this guard, he needs to sweep, and he needs to start getting back on his feet. Because right now he's down two rounds. The third round is going to be the deal breaker. If he doesn't stand and strike, he definitely will lose this fight. And the second round comes to an end. The second Abdullah round comes to an end. Abdullah finding all success that he can in both rounds. Both fighters back to their stools, getting ready to get some advice from their coaches. So here's the story of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ali lands perfect strikes, and he flips him, he gets through, he's in range. Abdullah answers with a kick. Again, Ali strikes, finding a lot of success with the strikes. But here, this is where the problem is. He closes distance and he doesn't take anything accountable and then he finds himself back on the ground. And, and Abdullah secures a very flawless takedown, double leg takedown. Gets Ali up in the air and flips him over, lands in side control, but then Ali retains his guard. And that's basically the second round. Beautiful takedowns from Abdullah. Round yeah, so number nice three. Nice on display from the Abdullah corner. Fighting out of SMB Academy, very grappling heavy team. Very nice striker, very nice top position. And Abdullah taking a glimpse at us. He 
looks like he's ready for the third round. So, ladies and gentlemen, round number three is on the way. Will Ali Shara'a we have a different answer to Abdullah's 10,000 grappling? Or will we see just another story of what has happened in the first two rounds of Ali fighting off of his back? And here we go. Anything can happen here in the third round. I think, I think Ali should start going. Ali should start going. He has nothing to lose right now. He should start going. He should let his hands start going. Nice, and he clips him there on the chin. So this is the successful fight that Ali wants to have. Manage your distance. Keep fighting behind your jab. And use your length. He's much longer than this guy. And he goes for the high front kick. Are we gazing his distance? Another high front kick. He's pressuring Abdullah back onto the cage. Goes for the takedown. Abdullah successfully secures the takedown. It's the same thing. Ali, Ali keeps on throwing. Unaccountable. Every time he throws unaccountable, Abdullah standing there, getting ready for the takedown. And he gets it and he finds it every single time. And Abdullah with another successful takedown, he's got now top control. Both fighters right in front of us. And obviously, Ali is aware of Abdullah's takedowns. However, his timing is what made him successful. Shouts from the crowd supporting both of these fighters. Ali Sharawi is Ali should undefeated. use the cage to start to try to get up. I think this is the story of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Like I told you, Ali, Ali needs to work a lot more on his depth in uh, takedown uh, take defense. Because every time Abdullah just went for a takedown, it was there for him. Every time, every time Abdullah goes for a takedown, it's there for him. So. This, this has been the story of the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, Ali, if, if, if he was able to use more of his striking skills, I think he was going to be able to wear down Abdullah. Yeah, Ali needs, Ali needs to start looking for solutions. He needs to start opening up his guard. I, I don't think he has any solutions by now. Like, the last two rounds, it's the same story. He throws his strikes and suddenly he finds himself on the back. Up until now, Ali does not have an answer for Abdullah's grappling. He's trying for, he's trying to, he's trying for a body choke. Ali needs to pull his leg back and start. And he stands up. Ali stands up successfully. Finally, Ali has an answer. But Abdullah has no blunders. Ali needs one hook. Gets Ali, Ali gets has to push him off and try to finish the fight. Abdullah needs to keep the pressure and keep the fight in the grappling. He doesn't want to go to the striking even if there's a minute left on the clock. And Ab Ali digs for an uh, underhook and he gets it. Ali switches sides here. Abdullah is back to the fence. Let's see the offensive grappling of Ali. Up until now, Abdullah stuffing the takedowns. Ali diving for the takedown. Ali goes for the takedown finally. Abdullah with the overhook finds himself on the ground up again easy. This must be very frustrating for Ali. This is 
not the smartest move by it's Ali. It's too late now to take the fight for Ali, I think so. But to finish he the needs fight. to try to inflict any damage on Abdullah as he can. There's 10 seconds left. And the whole story of this fight was... Oh. 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 Was that after the belt? belt. Doesn't matter now. And, we have a and the fight goes in Abdullah's corner. He wins the fight. Six bouts out of six going all the way. Three rounds. What an incredible matchup. Let's hear it for our fighters Abdullah Muhammad and Ali Sharawi. <coughs> Standing by for the referee scores, reminding you one more time our hashtag for the evening is hashtag Qadia002. And of course, don't forget to follow at Qadia MMA and to visit our website, QadiaMMA.com. Brought to you, of course. Yeah, I agree with you. This was where the problem was for Ali the takedown defense. He was finding some success in the striking, but he couldn't stop the takedowns of Abdullah, I believe the super soldier. Ali should start After three incredible rounds, ladies and, and gentlemen, we have reached a decision. Ali, All three judges have scored this very tight matchup, 30 to 27, by unanimous decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner is... In the blue corner, Abdullah!